All right, everybody, um, we just had, this is not a drill, shots heard around the world. Donald Trump was shot in the head, uh, in the ear, which is part of the head. I say that because there's like community notes saying, Trump wasn't shot in the head, he got shot in the ear. Yeah, the ear, where's your ear? Where is your ear, dude? It's attached to your head. So if you get shot in the lips, that's still in the head, the face and head are one, okay? So uh, that, that I just can't even, and I'm gonna be so mad during this, so I'm apologizing right now because the media response for this whole thing has been unbelievable. It's been so bad. So here's what we're gonna do, because I got this set up beforehand. We're gonna go through everything. I have the lead up, what they did to cause this, I have the attempt itself, so we're gonna watch the video. We're gonna watch some of the some of the stuff that maybe you haven't seen yet, okay? We're gonna talk about how the Secret Service failed, and that's a big part of the actual event of what happened, okay? And I have different things on that. And then we're gonna go over the left-wing media, the left-wing people, politicians, etc., response to the situation. So it's gonna be boom, 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 boom. We're going through a lot of stuff, but this is everything we know. You get a master class, first take on what's going on with Trump getting shot. But yes, former president shot in Pennsylvania. Like 100% sure it's Pennsylvania. I'll edit that out if it's not Pennsylvania, but damn it. That's what happened. Okay, so let's get right to it. In the lead up, we have the Democrats, because this is political. This is this is straight political. I got my Valhalla Java, my Valhalla mug. I'm in rare form, man. <sighs> okay, so here's the lead up. We have the, the Democrats trying Introduce bill at Trump that would strip Secret Service protection. So that's April 19th, 2024. And it's been called out by content creators around that we know if they're trying to get rid of his protection, we're letting everyone know he's less protected, therefore easier to get to. So it is a dog whistle to anyone who means harm to the president. Hey, we're making your life easier. He doesn't need less protection. He needs more protection. So that is insane. Okay. First off. Next, we have N MSNBC saying it, saying it out loud. They're saying it out loud. So listen to this. This is from them. But his rhetoric is really getting dangerous, more and more dangerous. And we saw what happened on January 6th when he uses inflammatory rhetoric now. And his recent true social post uh, is incredibly, incredibly scary for anyone uh, that might be trying to op work in government. And um, it is just uh, uh, unquestionable at this point that that man cannot see public office again. He is not only unfit, he is destructive to our democracy, uh, and he has to be, uh, he has to be eliminated. But his... They said he has to be eliminated. He has to be eliminated. He cannot go again. The inflammatory rhetoric. Bro, you're calling for him to be ended. Gone. Do you understand how crazy that is? Comparative. Okay. And then this is just recent. This is what just happened. July 8th, Joe Biden on a call with his donors. We're done talking about the debate. It's time to put Trump in a bullseye. Do you guys know what a bullseye is? Like they're saying a target, a target. What, what is, what happens to a bullseye? It gets hit. You aim for it. Here you go. We got Grok, the AI. We're done talking about the debate. It's time to put Trump in a bullseye. President Joe Biden on July 8th. Grok, President Joe Biden, 
President Joe Biden made this statement during a private call with donors on July 8th, 2024, expressing his determination to focus on defeating, defeating Donald Trump in the upcoming election rather than dwelling on past debates. Thank you. Thank you, Grok AI. We got the context now, right? It's about the debate. He said the debate's over, put him in a crosshair. You, like, how freaking crazy is that? And just to show, because I have multiple sources that, that showed this. So, once again, Joe Biden on July 8th, 24. We're done talking about the debate. It's time to put Trump in a bullseye. We got Here's the, the greater full context. Because I'm not trying to like edit it so you don't, so you're misunderstanding what happened. I have one job, and that's to beat Donald Trump. I'm absolutely certain I'm the best person to be able to do that. So we're done talking about the debate. It's time to put Trump in a bullseye, Biden said. He said that five days ago. Then Trump gets shot. Like that's, I'm sorry, the left a thousand percent, a thousand percent continue to say things like this that are trying to stoke violence. Okay. So now that's the lead up. Now let's go into the attempt and then all the fallout and then we'll keep it going into secret service and the left wing response. Okay. But here's the, the attempt. Okay. Do I kind of and I got this broken up into like shorter videos. Also YouTube, there's like so much violence and crazy random stuff that I see all the time. I swear if you take this video down because I'm showing him get shot in the ear of all the shit I see, if this is too much, like freaking give me a break. So here's the, the rally. To our country, probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Okay, so you saw he moved his head at the last second, and then you hear, and it went right where his head was. His head was there, and then he moved again, and then at that exact moment, it came by and hit, hit through the ear. Now, I have seen on the left side already people saying, we don't even know that he was actually shot. We don't even know. Okay, okay. So here's this picture, which is worth its weight in gold. You guys can tell me what you see. I'll, I'll get out of the picture so you can see the whole thing. You can see the damn bullet. Look how close it is. And you can see him like beginning to wince. As it looks like it had passed, it just was passing past his head and through the ear. I mean, that's so close, it's insane. That's so close. But the response from the president, from President Trump, the way he handled it, will be legendary forever. There's nothing that's ever going to top this. I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't see anyone ever, ever shaking off an assassination attempt like this. Look, look at what he did. Look at what he did after getting up. No.
No. Wait, 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 wait. No. That's my president, man. That's our president. For real. Recreation. <sighs> you cannot not respect that. He got shot. He got back up and said, fight. Fight, fight. We're not done. He is not done. And Elon Musk, welcome to the Freethinkers Rebellion. Welcome, new subscriber. Elon Musk shared this. Look at that picture, dude. Amazing. Said, do I have a clip, the clip of the shooter? Um, I have more clips I will get to, and I'll let you know. Here's a picture of him on the ground in the huddle. You can see him bleeding down his face. And this is the reality. I, I love this, this tweet. President Trump never needed this job. He's doing it for the love of the country. He's doing us a favor to deal with any of this. Like, I can't even imagine giving up all that you have to deal with this bullshit. Getting shot. Now, unfortunately, uh, he was not the only one who suffered. And I saw this, uh, apparently, an emergency room emergency room doctor tried to save somebody um, who, who also received a, a wound. It doesn't show anything graphic, but he explains what happens, and you can see this. Honor, that's exactly where I heard him come from. What did you see, sir? Um, I heard the shots. Um, I, uh, I thought it was firecrackers to begin with. Uh, somebody over there was screaming, he's been shot, he's been shot. So I made my way over. Uh, I said, I'm an emergency department physician. Let me help you. The guy had spun around, was jammed between the benches. He had a headshot here. There's lots of blood and he had brain matter there. Oh, and so I got him. There's a helicopter coming in to get him. Uh, so uh, I got people there really helpful. I got Was there only one on person bench. shot that you saw? Then I did CPR, did chest compressions, as well as a grief form. One person? Okay. I was the only one that did it. All right, now he did not answer the question, was it the only one person? From what I understand, it was only one person um, other than the shooter. So it was Trump shot, the shooter shot, and uh, one 
gentleman apparently there. Keek says, I was there tonight. So incredibly sad. It was very, very sad. You have somebody who was murdered for political ideology. And then the president obviously attacked our president. Now, this, this is in. So we have this. Donald Trump was released from the hospital. So you see the motorcade taken off. Keek says one other person in the hospital. Okay, so one other. I was there too. Are you local? Robert. Okay, so you guys were in the area. So now the Babylon Bee doing their best to make light of a terrible situation. And I appreciate it. I have humor, even dark humor and humor. Um, in times it may not be appropriate, but damn it, they did good with this one. Babylon B, Trump indicted for inciting assassination attempt. That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I know the man was just shot like a few hours ago, but that lands pretty well. The left would try to indict Donald Trump for his own assassination. They're like, ah, oh, your rhetoric caused this. And uh, yeah, that, that seems to be a bit of what the left thinks. So we'll get into that after the lashing against the freaking secret service. All right. So on to stage three, secret service failure. All right. So here's, uh, it just says roof. I wrote roof snipers failed. And you know so you guys can watch this. It's this footage of the secret service sniper engaging with, uh, Antifa sniper. I don't know that it's an Antifa sniper specifically, but anti-Trump sniper for sure. So watch this. And you know, that's a little bit old. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. And you know, that's a little. So you see him. What the hell was that? He looked, he looked up. And then all these shots ring out and then he looks back. He has a massive flinch. Like I understand flinching. I understand flinching is like a natural thing. Okay. But if you're looking semi sort of in the direction, are you telling me that someone laying on a, on a roof just uh, over yonder where you're looking, you don't see that. You don't find that a little bit suspicious that he's going to flinch and shift and come up off the scope until after three or five shots go like, what the hell was that? That's the worst. That's the worst dude. That's a problem. That is an absolute massive problem. And I'm not the only one that thinks so. Two things. First off, we have Valentina Gomez who was there and you can listen to her right behind talk about this failure. I was right behind president Trump at his rally in Ohio. And this security failure was on purpose. There are snipers on every roof around the perimeter in every strategic position. Someone in his security detail is clearly compromised, and I want answers. President Trump, we have your back. Sweet get up. Now, this is, this is definitely a problem. Saying the security detail, the security detail is compromised. That is the allegation. That's what people are saying. Why? Because you have somebody who's clearly not supposed to be there laying on a roof 
armed, aiming at the president, and they don't take him out until after he gets a bunch of shots off? Are you freaking kidding me? And so now, here's the video some people had sent me already. BBC, BBC interviewed some folks that were there that saw, allegedly saw the shooter get into position. So you guys can watch this. Tell me what you think of this. Uh, someone who was here. You weren't inside the event, nope. but you were just outside. Tell us what you saw. And what. So, so we had a party here all day. At the, uh, you can see behind us at the, the Brinkles Farming Greenhouse here. We had a party. Um, and we all decided, hey, you know, when, when we hear Trump up there, we're going to walk up through the field, stand by the trees up there under the shade, yeah. and watch the, and listen to the rally. Right? We couldn't see him, but we could hear him. So we walked up. And probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know. But um, we noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, and, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're more certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? hundred percent. hundred percent. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police and the Secret Service? We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? Could they see him? Probably not because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service blew his head off. Okay, just be careful because we don't quite know who's watching, but you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. Okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards or? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead and that was it. It was over. That's incredibly shocking. The guy was on the roof right there. You can see the white roof. Right there. Did you get a look at him? Could you? I, I no. Other than he was in muted colors, tan type clothing. I, we saw the rifle flinging around as he was trying to crawl. I mean, we saw the rifle, hundred percent. I mean, do you know about guns? Do you know what kind of weapon it was? Oh, I absolutely know about guns for sure. Yeah, no, you know I mean, it was a rifle of some sort. I wouldn't know. You know, I wasn't close enough to read the label on it. No, but, sure. but it was, was, a, it was a rifle of some sort. Yeah, absolutely. So. <laughs> What do you, how do you process what you've just seen? <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, man. All I'll tell you is, you know, if I, if I walked up close to there with anything that can, Secret Service considered a, a, a problem, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. But I don't know why a guy who we're standing there pointing out to police and Secret Service is crawling up the roof. Are you outside the security Yes, right there by that tree. We were outside the security permit. But my question is, there's only a few buildings around here. Why is Secret Service not on every building here? Well, there's a whole bunch of questions, I think, that are going to come. There's a whole the bunch of questions. Yeah. yeah. Yes, she was right in front of me. She kept going back and forth right in front of me. Yes. Tell us about her. I mean, nice horse, nice lady running with a flag. It seemed very, you know. Patriotic, but what, what's what's the significance of that? No, she just he asked me if I saw a horse. Okay, okay. All right. Well, listen. I'm sorry you had to witness that. That was a terrible thing. 
and um, you should stay safe with your family and uh, gotcha. healthy stuff. Um, thanks for your gotcha, time. Man. Uh, someone who Okay, I don't have I don't have specific knowledge that this was a inside job. Okay, I don't I don't have that, but that eyewitness testimony of them seeing the perpetrator and they know it's the perpetrator because they saw him get capped and then removed. Okay, so they watched him climb up. They knew he was a problem, and then they called him out to the police to the secret service, everyone they could, they literally just sitting there pointing, here's the guy telling the cops, the cops didn't do anything. Secret service didn't do anything. And then once secret service did know, did see, finally, you saw in the video, the guy comes up from the scope and then a bunch of shots run out. And then he goes back down and then takes action after several shots. Well, what the hell? That's like, what are you trained? So now there's a lot of you who do watch him. I know uh, my wife does a lot of the McGroins, McGroin Nation, Bongino. So I know YouTube doesn't like him. I'm quoting his post. Just FYI, he's a former Secret Service agent. Kind of relevant experience. He says, I want to repeat and can absolutely confirm the USSS director, Kim Cheadle, has repeatedly turned down requests for a larger security footprint around President Trump, despite knowing the threat level is catastrophic. Resign tonight. Okay, so that's Bongino on, on Cheadle, the security service or the secret service director. What you don't know what you don't know from Elon Musk posting Cheadle Kimberly Cheadle 27th director of the US Secret Service sworn in on September 17, 2022, responsible for successfully executing agency's integration mission of protection and investigations by leading a diverse workforce composed of more than 7,800 special agents, uniformed division officers, technical law enforcement officers, administrative professionals, and tech professionals. Prior to her employment appointment, Ms. Cheadle served as senior director in global security at PepsiCo. Bro. At PepsiCo. Elon said so before being put in charge of protecting the president, she was guarding bags of Cheetos. Yes. And do you know why she got the job? Do you know? Can you guess? Can you guess? Because I know. So here's a statement by Alejandro Mayorkas on the appointment of Kimberly Cheadle as director of the U.S. Secret Service, August 24th, 2022. I commend President Biden on the selection of Kimberly Cheadle to serve as the next director of U.S. Secret Service. Ms. Cheadle is an experienced leader, veteran of the Secret Service who advanced through the ranks to become the first woman in the role of assistant director of the Office of Protective Operations. Are you kidding me? It's a fucking DEI hire, bro. It's a the first woman ever endorsed by Mayorkas, bruh. Endorsed by Mo- Mayorkas. If, if they're endorsed by Mayorkas, you know it's a shit show already. Like, it's just not going to be good. I just, I'm losing it, man. I'm trying to keep it cool, but we're going to get to the more infuriating part because here's the response from the left. Here's the response. Okay. So from libs of TikTok, I cannot believe the shooter missed thoughts and prayers with the next shooter. Please don't miss. And there's a million variations of that. A million variations of that. And here's Biden. 
Apparently they woke his ass up back to from uh, his Ambien, Xlax, Ben Gay, freaking cat comb, his damn cocoon. They put him in every night so that he could barely get into the next day. But here he is. And I'll get you back to you if I do. Okay? Mr. President, do you think this was an assassination attempt? I don't know enough. To, I, I, have, I, have an, I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts. So I want to make sure we have all the facts before I make some com any more comments. Thank you. Are you worried, Mr. President? With this, with this security? And I'll get you back to you. And then he waddles off stage like a toddler with a full diaper. Fuck you. Says, I don't know if it was an assassination attempt. He got shot in the head. The guy shot at him like four more times. How do you not know? Like, you know. You know. Oh. Oh, man. It's like really feeling it right now. Really? <laughs> okay. Okay. On to the next. We just got to get through this, okay? MAGA. MAGA at the rally after Trump was shot. At, right after Trump was shot, MAGA confronted the media because the media is at all the rallies. And, you know, they, they always try to make them seem slower or smaller. They, they cut out whenever he's saying important things because they're that true enemy of the people. So here is the media getting chewed out. By MAGA. He's 100% right. He's 100% right. The media has lied about Trump for five straight years. They have radicalized millions of people into being politically retarded. They have no idea anything about reality. They live on the, the absolute dregs of media reporting. And that's all they know. That's all they believe. And the media... Well, they went for it. As soon as this happened, they went to their lying bullshit damage control mode. So Marjorie Taylor Green shared this. Liars, these scumbags in the media are responsible for what happened today. People were shot, potentially killed. Some were uh, <laughs> the shooter. And then, unfortunately, somebody in the crowd. Says, and this is what they claimed happened. What? Look, look. CNN, Secret Service rushes Trump off stage after he falls at rally. Are you fucking kidding me? They're saying after he fell. Like Biden? They're trying to say that he pulled a Biden and fell? And then Secret Service was like, oh, let's get our embarrassing sack of shit protectee and take him to the hospital because he fell because he's too clumsy and old and pathetic. That's what they tried to say this was. And they're not alone. USA Today. Trump removed from stage by Secret Service after loud noises startles former president and crowd. Former President Trump was rushed off stage after loud popping sounds rang out as he was speaking to supporters at Butler, PA, near Pittsburgh. Trump was removed from the site by Secret Service after the noises Trump reached for his ear when the noises happened. Are, are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. There's everyone's asleep right now at the house, but I can't chill out. Like. I haven't been this mad in a very long time. Not going to lie. There's the bullet. Remember? In the air, you can see the bullet in the picture after he got shot. The media is saying that he fell. 
They're saying that he winced at loud noises. Now, CBS is yelling at Trump because they're saying he didn't do enough to calm his supporters down after he was shot in the head. Here's the clip. God bless America. And we saw him raise his hand in the air defiantly, blood on his face as he left the stage. Uh, he is recovering from these injuries now. This was a traumatic event, no doubt, for him. But I did notice there was no call for lowering the temperature, condemning all political violence, and really trying to signal to his supporters as well uh, not to retaliate or to have any kind of escalation here. I, I, I just am looking at these Well, there's a belief in his inner circle that he's under siege I understand. being attacked yeah. at his rally. And so there's a lot of every text and some message I'm getting. Will exactly, digest from, it, like some, you're saying. I mean, every single text message, I, 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 literally every single one from Trump sources is outraged and uh, shocked. And so that is certainly the mood inside the highest ranks of the Republican Party speaking to CBS News tonight. Captain DH says Trump being lively on stage is what saved him. Biden's already brain dead, so we wouldn't have noticed the difference before and after the headshot because he doesn't move. That's not false. 